how about opening up to you guys? I know there's plenty of tattooed people in the audience, and I'd love to hear, um, you know, if you have some similar experiences or some not similar experiences. One of the things that really stood out to me with the interview uh, with the participants is I asked them the question, has anyone ever come up and touched you out of the blue? You know, like you're standing in line at the grocery store and you feel this hand on your back from out of the blue, and you're like, whoa, what's going on? And so every single one would say yes, and they would explode with their answer and say yes. And, um, and then I would tell you know, that story to non-tattooed people, and they were quite surprised. Like, really? People violate your space like that? Your body like that? Yet some of them are the ones doing it. So, um, you know, so one of the things that I'm trying to do with this movie is to uh, cultivate what um, you know, one of the tattoo artists in the movie called tattoo etiquette. How, how should you behave with the tattooed person, you know? We should make some informative, like, YouTube video about, like, <laughs> this is the appropriate way to interact with a heavily tattooed person. And all of them said if they asked permission first, they'd be more than happy to talk about their artist or, or what it means or, or something like that. But if, if your question has, like, a, a reason, like, oh, I really like this art, um, style and I want to get something similar, so who's your artist? Rather than like, oh look, you got a tattoo there, you know? Which usually is seems to be the motivation of many of those statements. So um, how about you guys? Like what experiences do you have? I only have one and that's the only one that I have so far. I got it last summer, so that's my first tattoo. I waited until I was twenty years old and was at a point in my life where something monumentous had just happened and I was just coming out I felt like I was being reborn. So what I thought was something that was very symbolic to me and will always have meaning to me. I'm never going to cover it up. Mark my words. Um, <laughs> I'm so proud of this tattoo. It makes me feel alive and sexy. And I don't think of it as body mutilation. I think of it as body perfection. Like, my body was not perfect the way that it was before. But now that I have this gorgeous plant growing out of my skin, out of like cracking lava, it's more perfect than it was before. So um, I, I was very thankful for that because when she came over my house with your cousin, was it? It was her cousin. And, um, and I was kind of, she was asking me about reactions and things and I started talking and then I started to realize I was starting to get angry while I was talking. And then I was just like, cause I just feel like I'm in this little tiny bubble, you know, <laughs> like experiencing all my experiences. And um, she just kind of matter of factly mentioned that a lot of women who have a lot of tattoos experience a lot of those reactions. And, um, and I was like, oh my God, really? And I, I just got so excited because I mean, I, you know, I was in my little bubble. I don't know that. Uh, anyways, um, I wanted to um, let you go, but we'll be here for informal discussion. So if you want to come up and uh, touch our tattoos, <laughs> talk to us more about it, buy a DVD, get some flyers. Uh, please check out the, um, the uh, website and the Facebook fan page. And thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it.